Hello everyone! So today, we will learn on how to do a food compost. This video is specially made by a group of four. Let us meet each one of them. Nor I'm Rasha Shabin Sham. Nor Alia Binti Abdul Aziz. Ira Sharmimi Binti Mark Nordin. And also Nor Shazana Binti Azmi. Alright everyone, before we do a food composting, let us know what is compost. Compost is a mixture of ingredients used to fertilize and improve soil. Compost is commonly prepared by composting plant and food waste, recycling the organic materials so that the mixture is rich in plant nutrients and beneficial organisms. Compost is decomposed organic material such as leaves, grass clippings, and kitchen waste. It provides many essential nutrients for plant growth and therefore is often used as fertilizer. Compost also improves soil structure so that soil can easily hold correct amount of moisture, nutrients, and air. There are many benefits of using compost. First, it builds good soil structure. Second, the soil is unable to retain nutrients, water, and air. Also, protects against drought. Third, it helps to maintain a neutral pH soil. Fourth, it protects plants from many diseases commonly found in garden. Fifth, it feeds earthworms and other microbial life in the soil. You already know what is the benefits of food waste composting but do you know why it is very important to do a composting? Let's us watch this video. Now that you already know what is compost, why is it important, and the beneficial of compost, you are now ready to make your own food waste compost. So, let's see what are the materials and apparatus that we will use to make our own food compost. First of all, we need a container. Any container is fine, but it's better to use a closed container which is a container that have a cap we also need a soil it's better to use a soft and dry soil to do our activity next we will use dry leaves and then also a dry food waste 
The food waste can either be a leftover foods or potato peel or any domestic and organic waste. Then we also need the most important thing for all living things, water. Last but not least, we also need an apparatus to measure the temperature of our compost during the composting process. So, in this activity, we will use a pocket thermometer. I guess you might want to ask us why did we put optional there? Alright, so this is the answer. We put optional for the type of thermometer. There are plenty type of thermometer out there, so you can use any type of thermometer that you think suitable for this kind of activity. It's better to have a thermometer that can reach or that can measure until 60 degrees Celsius. And now, we finally move on to the methods how we do the composting process. As usual, our first step is gonna be prepare all of the materials and apparatus. We need to make sure that all of that is there. The container, water, and food waste, dried leaves. And now we move on to the second step. We need to put the soil at the bottom of the container first, and then we add the food waste. It can be the leftover foods or the expired foods or the fruit peels or potato peels and we can also add eggshell and then the dried leaves. The third step is actually very simple. We just need to put another layer of soil on top of the food waste all over the food waste okay cover it for the fourth step we need to spray or water the soil with water just a little amount of water don't over water it because it will affect the result after you're done watering it you need to mix all of the materials together the soil the food waste and also the leaves Mix all of that together, put the lid on, and then leave it aside. Last but not least, we need to take a temperature of the compost, and we need to do that every day. We suggest you to do it twice or thrice, and then take note of the temperature every day. Oh yes, and don't forget to repeat step 4 and step 5 every day, which are spraying the compost, mix it up and take the temperature and also don't forget to close on the lid after a week to two weeks if your compost have a moldy texture like a white thing on it and have a lava then you are in a right track keep going and keep repeating the process Repeat step 4 and step 5 every day and you will get a perfect result. And this is the final result. This is what we get after 40 days. I hope that you will get the same result as the what we get. Alright guys, so that's all. That's are all the steps. It is an easy step and can be performed by all edges. I hope that you can watch our video and do your own food waste composting. Good luck everyone. I hope that you will be success in doing it because you know it is as easy as ABC. As I said before, you can use any kind of materials, any kind of organic compost. You can either use the expired food or the leftover food from your home. It is using a domestic waste. So it is easy to get and the steps are not that hard. Even the child, the primary school students can do it. Alright guys, so 
for closing the ending of my words i representing my teams we want to thank you thanks to watching our video and also we hope that our video can give you a knowledge about food waste composting and you can do your own food waste composting letter good luck on that and we hope to see you guys later see you guys again on the next video goodbye good luck stay safe everyone